everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Almost Martha. I'm almost ready for Thanksgiving, but not quite. I've just baked some cornbread. I have a cheesecake in the oven, and now I'm going to work on my little centerpiece. So I thought I would give it a go with you. We'll do it together because if you are hosting, people bring flowers, then it's too late to do anything with them. If you have flowers, and you need a centerpiece for tomorrow, or you can just run down to your local market and get some, find a vessel, find a vessel to put it in. One, one that's nice and low, because you want people to be able to see over it. Believe me, I have made the mistake where I put flowers a little too high, and people told me about it, I know all about it, and try not to do it. Okay, so this is a chicken, but I'm gonna pretend it's a turkey. <laughs> so I can make it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> So this is what I use every year. And I have some floral foam. And I'm just going to try to, I don't know, get it to somewhat sit in there properly. So I'm just going to cut it. really slices really easily. If you don't have floral foam, just get some masking tape and then put some small little strips crosswise, then lengthwise, and then you can just sort of nestle your flowers in there. Floral foam is really good if you're trying to do something in a vessel like this where you want to put a lot of flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to make it not stick up quite as much. We want the foam to hide just a little bit. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm actually going to cut off some pieces on the edges because it's a little rounded in here. And now that's nestling in there much, much better. There is a little room on the back. You can also just sort of piece this foam in as you need it. Okay. Okay. That is, that is pretty good. You might try to put just a little piece, little piece in front. Okay. So my foam, my foam is there. I've had this foam a long time. Every once in a while, I'll use it, you know, for something. Now I'm just going to prepare my foam for the flowers. Okay. So this, this foam is called like Oasis. And it's Oasis because it actually will contain the water, right? So if, you, if your flowers are just in a normal vase, you can see the water in there and, you know, all of that. Here, we're going to be sticking the flower stems directly into the Oasis. So we can actually get a, a nice, you know, a nice creation here. So I, I want this, this floral foam to be nice and wet because that's how the flowers are going to drink. It's going to be drinking right from this, this foam, this oasis. And as you water it for the next few days, just get your finger guide in here. You can feel if there's any water in there or not. Then you can pour some water in there discreetly to sort of keep that that foam nice and moist, nice and moist. Okay, I have some little clippers here. So we have a front and back, but actually everyone's gonna be viewing this from all sides, right? So we can start uh, putting some pretty flowers in the center and then sort of working our way out. I think uh, in the center, it would be nice to have flowers that are just a little taller maybe than on the ends. So we're looking be a little too tall. Remember, we don't want people to have to strain to see each other. So I'm just gonna put that rose right there. And then I'm just gonna continue to look for flowers of a similar, similar size for the center. You can cut your flowers at an angle and that will help them to, to drink a little bit. I love these. I love these daisies. They're just so beautiful and cheerful. And these, these chrysanthemums, these mums are, boy, they're, they're the workhorse. They will stay nice and fresh for a long time. They're, they're really terrific like that. Okay. I have some of, this is a nice little, is a nice little thing to put in there. I know I have a lot of flowers. I'm going to be putting them throughout the house. I asked my, told my husband, I said, 
oh, buy me a really, you know, big bouquet of flowers so I can do my centerpiece. And he came home with tons of flowers. I love that about him. I love that about him. Okay. So there's another rose. We're gonna sort of oh, that fit perfectly, perfectly. Here's another little rose. Maybe I'll try back here. This rose, slightly different color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oh, that's really sweet. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So dressing up your table with, you know, beautiful plates and all of that, even if you don't have beautiful plates. Boy, there's nothing like flowers that really dress up a table. And, you know, for that, it's a very inexpensive little touch. And you don't have to have a big fancy vase either. You can just get a, a jelly jar. You can get a mason jar. You can use anything, anything that holds some nice flowers to make your table really special. Also, let your guests know how much you appreciate them coming when you take some extra steps to make sure that everything is just extra nice, right? I do, I do love to entertain. I love to have people over. I love to sit and chat. sit and chat and eat good food. Okay, so a lot of times I forget that it's also important. I think about I think about this area too much and not the low-lying areas. So we have to make sure that in some of these other areas we have flowers that can sort of peek out. We want to, in other words, we want to hide the chicken a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put some flowers. That's a little too tall. And it's just sort of trial and error, right? What fits where? The foam is a, a little forgiving. But once you make a hole, you make a hole. So. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm just going to put that right on my little chicken head. Come on now. All right. All right. There we go. There we go. That's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Now we're still looking for, we want some things that might, oh, oh, oh I love these. Love, love, love these. Now, these are difficult flowers because if we're not careful, they, they will die within a day or tomorrow. But they are so beautiful. I just really love them. So the best thing you can do for this flower is to remove as many of these leaves because these leaves are going to suck moisture right away from the flower. I'm going to cut this on a diagonal. And the other thing we can do to make sure that this survives is to spritz it with water because this flower not only drinks from the bottom, but it drinks from the leaves. I happen to have a little spritz bottle for water for this very thing, for the hydrangeas that I have in my yard. Because once I bring them inside, I make sure they have lots of water and I spray those leaves, very important. I, I think every, every day I go out there and spray those leaves, uh, uh, you know, if I've cut them in, there, in the house. And when I'm watering hydrangeas in the yard, I make sure I water the leaves too, because the leaves drink that water and they require a lot of water when it gets hot out there. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see that just a little bit. Those flowers are draped rather nicely. I do have <laughs> some other vases I'm going to put out <laughs> throughout the house. 
I love flowers. I grow a lot of flowers in the summer and I'm always cutting them, bringing them inside. So I have a little, a little cutting garden in a raised bed every year where I plant dahlias and I plant zinnias. They're so great just to put in little vases all around the house. Okay. We want to start filling in some holes. You don't want to be able to see the oasis, right? You just want to be able to see, oh, this is a cool thing. I've had, I've seen these before too. These are really cool plants and they look very, they look very fall like, right? They're super cool. A little odd, but super cool. And I don't know what these are. If somebody wants to write in and tell me what they are. I actually, I have an app on my phone that I can take a picture of a flower and it will tell me what it is. Because now I can't remember what these are. Okay. Well, I hope I'm not getting you too tall. I hope I'm not getting you too tall. Don't tell me that I am. After you do your arrangement, a really good thing to do <laughs> is to just put it on the dining room table where you're going to have it and go sit down and sit down in that spot so you can see if you can see the guests on the other side of the table if you can't then we have to take your take your creation and cut it down just a little bit because people they do want to be able to see each other right sometimes no matter you know i think i've done it but they could be shorter than me <laughs> And if they're shorter than me, they're probably going, oh, hi, how are you over there? How are you on the other side of the table? Okay. And, you know, frankly, uh, I, I'm not like a professional arranger. I do this fairly often. But once I get it arranged, I'll put it on the table. I'll move it around. I'll walk around. And then I'll see if there's a spot I got to pay attention to. If, oh, if I'm sitting down now, I see that this spot needs a, a little something in there. So uh, you can sort of get a bird's eye view of how your guests are going to view the flowers. And then you can fill in any little holes and, and areas that you might have. Okay. So I'm trying to get some to sort of drape down just a little bit because we want to cover up that oasis. We want to cover up, you know, uh, sort of the, the trick underneath it, which is that we put uh, that foam in there to hold these flowers. We want it to drape just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, well, wow. they're looking pretty good, actually. And I don't think it's too tall. But we're gonna have to do gonna have to do the table test, frankly. So, and that's okay. Better now than later when you've got somebody saying, "Can I move your flowers? I can't see Bob over there." To which I'm always like, "Oh, of course, <laughs> of course you can." I didn't know you wanted to see Muriel. <laughs> I'm just making up names. <laughs> okay, let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. I think I need a little piece of color right there. Little piece of color. Oh, there, there they are. I have to go a little shorter, a little shorter. It's going to go right here. We're getting dense now, so I'm using my finger to go in there and feel for a place in the foam that I can put a new flower stem. The, fo the foam does move around a tiny bit, so just kind of keep it, keep it nice and steady. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, I love that one. I'll, I'll use that for something else. And there's another of my nice and sturdy mums. These have a pretty thick stem, so you have to kind of be careful where you put them. 
All right. Okay, where do I need color? Where do I need color? Oh, I wish you could tell me. I wish you could tell me. Okay. Hi, Mom. How you doing? <laughs> I bet you could tell me where I've missed something. Hmm. Nope. Nope. That doesn't work. Okay. See, and that just, that stem is so big. Has a lot of weight to it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put you right back. I need something a little smaller. That's a pretty thick stem, too. Okay. I'm going to go right back to our, our rose again. Back to our rose again. Mm -hmm. Need a little color right there. Perfect. 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 Well, that's, that is one fancy chicken, isn't it? That is one fancy chicken. We got some little things hanging down. That's great. Covering up that oasis. Fantastic. Okay. Boy, something's smelling good in my oven. <laughs> something smelling good. I have I have a cheesecake in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And tomorrow I'm making southern dressing. And I'm making a cauliflower gratin. So there'll be lots to eat over here. Lots to eat. Okay. I think I'm coming down to the end. A little bit of color here. Color right there. Right, right there. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now. I'm going to put this on my dining room table. I'm going to see what it looks like. <laughs> hey there. I think, uh, I think it works. I know, you know, I'm tall. Yes. So a short person might think it's a little too tall, but I think it looks great. I think it looks great with that in the tablescape and, oh yeah, ready for Thanksgiving, ready for Thanksgiving. So grab some fresh flowers. You don't have to have a fancy thing. You don't have to have the floral oasis. You just put them in a, in a nice glass on your table, even a mason jar. It all works out just fine. It's all about just being together anyway. <laughs> so happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Mom. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. If you want to see some more recipes, go to almost-martha.com for some great recipes. I'm going to have a really great chicken pot pie one coming out where you can use your turkey leftovers for a turkey pot pie. So watch out for that. But happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>